I'm just going to wait for this car to go past. <laughs> It's a beautifully written story about the female household and their fierce love, but also the complexities and the dysfunction that exists between them. Generational trauma, race, same-sex relationships, gentrification, pregnancy. This definitely covers a lot. <laughs> it's got a lot of heart and depth and sometimes it's almost absurd. Where you meet Mel, she has been living abroad in Paris for the past four years. She is a very complicated, dark person that is perhaps a little bit misunderstood and does some pretty atrocious things. Hey. We're not doing this here. Just, just tell me you're sorting it. Mel. I got to cry quite a bit, took some tips from Lily Allen and she said, to spray perfume in my eyes. But I won't be using that because obviously I'm a classically trained actor and I know how to uh, dig from my deep emotions. Can you see me crying? I'm not moved, i am just got dry eyes. <laughs> just, the whole thing's just been so powerful. Um. <laughs> Dreamland touches on, I'd say, class and the sort of class divide within Margate. Is it a bit dark? It is, it's a bit dark, isn't it? Darling, what do you think? Is it too dark? There you go. It explores environmental problems, money problems, loyalty, many things. I've written them all down here, they're awfully good. If I could remember what I'd written, you'd be really, you'd be really <laughs> impressed with me. Dreamland touches on lots of things. Dishonesty and just wanting to get on in life and be happy and be loved and accepted. Women, fun, sex and more women. I'm always happy when I'm by the seaside. This is my first time in Margate actually and it feels pretty unique. People are so proud of being from Margate. I've never seen so many G-strings and it's fantastic. It's not too much. It's been quite magic. It's a fascinating place and every location has had a very specific charm. Who wants to go on the teacups? Me. No, I've got to wait for Nanny for those. She loves them. Does she? Yeah. She likes sitting in a little sofa. I've definitely experienced the seaside summer lols. It's so nice to be out of London and be by the seaside. It wasn't much fun filming on the hottest day ever in the United Kingdom. That was quite a sticky day. Well, unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to actually dip in the sea, which would have been glorious. But I'm always happy when I'm by the seaside. There's another one. Dirty bastards. It's a London condom net. I can tell. I actually prefer a pebble beach if I'm honest, but no, Margate's lovely. <laughs> it's been a brilliant summer job. I was like, gosh, it's so nice. What is it? And then I was like, oh yeah, there's only two men here. <laughs> oh, I love a sisterhood. It is a predominantly female cast, which is amazing, but what's really brilliant is that I didn't notice there's a comfort and an ease there and I think that's really refreshing that it's not a thing. No, oh, do you want some music on? Yes! No! There's been a lot of laughs. To work with this many women has been excellent. You don't normally get this many in one go and just all different ages. Yeah, it's just been a joy. Is it a treasure chest? What? It's a gold bar. I need a treasure chest. Well, it's a gold bar! Oh, it's wonderful. They're all hugely talented. We felt almost immediately like a big family. This is my friend Diane. Nice to meet you. She's uh, new to Margate. I love the project, particularly because it's women and it's working with the most wonderful bunch of female actresses, a wonderful female director, fabulous female producers. It doesn't happen very often, so it's like a dream. Working with the cast has been a total joy. They're all so different. Everybody wants Sheila to be their real life nan. Can you not do it for her? I have offered. She's absolutely dripping in sweat. She's just adorable and so full of twinkle. It's like action and she's just like this fierce warrior. Francis and Lily particularly have so many stories. Just great raconteurs. Amy, she's an exceptional actor and she's got so much heart and soul. And if I miss out, Gabby, who actually has written two of the episodes, is like our go-to guru. 
We have Freema, who is able to access the depths and the pain of what her character goes through in a way that I've just never seen before. It was an absolute treat to work with them all. What is all this, anyway? A man of festival. A man of what? A party. Everyone's been amazing so far. Everyone except Sheila, real diva. No, I'm joking. <laughs> She's amazing. I get an amazing costume. Including these. This is amazing. Melanie made it. Did you? Yeah, I mean, probably fall apart before she gets up. <laughs> Helen, our costume designer, is really, really brilliant. The hair and makeup and costume has been collaborative. I had lots of emails going to and from with Helen and Joe Jenkins, who does hair and makeup. And I kind of gave them a little bit of where I thought Mel was coming from and how she presents herself, which is mainly a mess. <laughs> we wanted Claire to feel like she makes an effort, but she also wouldn't spend a huge amount of time on anything because she's too busy looking after everyone else. You know, she's not going for manicures and stuff because she's mopping everyone else's brows. Can I grab your names, please? It's Patricia. And this is my husband, Spencer, as in Diana Spencer. I have really enjoyed getting to discover who Trish is through the way she looks. Every decision that's made helps me, as a performer, find the flavour of that human being. I'm so glad to meet you. And so's this house. You don't have to do the buzzy cells stuff with me. Of course I don't. I just remember walking into the costume fitting and just seeing this explosion of colour on the rail and I was totally there for it. I was blown away by the items on the rack and I think we chose almost everything. Look at you two sexy mamas, gorgeous couple! Cheryl is a matriarch, she's kind of reliving her youth, hence her wearing rather glamorous kaftani clothes and all kinds of jewellery. It's a gift for an actress my age, and I love playing her.